Hello all. Welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will be exploring how to develop a to-do app using clean architecture and a VVM design pattern in SwiftUI. If you'd like to access the source code for this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel, take a screenshot and send it to the email provided in the description. We will send you the source code. This is the third part of the tutorial series. The first two parts are available on the channel. Make sure to check them out. In this video, we will be developing the second portion of the header view, that is date slider. Let's start by creating a Swift UI view. We will name it as date slider view. Perfect. We will be using generics in this view. If you are not familiar with the generics, how they work with Swift UI, let me know in the comments. I'll make a tutorial on it. This Swift UI view takes a view as a generic type. Don't worry about the error. We will fix it in a bit. We need a closure that takes the weak model and returns the generic type we just created. Let's add the initializer and initialize this closure. Perfect. We need one more view, which is the date view for the slider elements. Let's create a Swift UI file. Now go back to the slider view. Inside the preview, let's add the closure to the view. This closure gives us a weak model and returns a view type. Here, we are writing the date view that we just created. Perfect. The error is gone. Let's add the required variables to construct the slider. First, we need a date manager, which we retrieve from the environment object. Second, we need an integer to store the active slider tab. Third, we need the position of the slider. And finally, we need a drag offset. We also need a direction enum which we will create in a bit. To create the slider, we will be using the tab view. I am setting the active tab variable to selection. We need to have three tabs. One for the past, another for the present, and finally one for the future. These views are the ones we are returning from the closure. That is the date view content. As you can see, the preview is crashing. This is because the view is not able to retrieve the date manager from the environment object. We have set the environment object in the app and this works when the app runs on the device. But for the individual views, we need to set the data inside the preview like this. It looks like the crash is gone now. Let's continue. In the date manager, we are calculating the past, present and future views. The past is set to the zeroth element, the present is set to the first element and the future is set to the second element. We are setting these in the date slider. Perfect. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will create the date view and the direction enum. Until then, happy coding. Thank you for watching.